What's going on, everybody? December 30th. Seven games, Saturday slate. Um, not a ton of interesting stuff going on for tonight. Um, Embiid being out, I guess, opens up some interesting stuff, but you don't ever want to have all the interesting game, or the interesting game be uh, the late game. But, you know, we'll dive in one way or the other. Uh, I will be back for live before lock tonight. Uh, I had something come up yesterday, so I wasn't able to do it. Um, but we will be back tonight, 6 o'clock, on the YouTube stream. We will be live. But let's dive into um, today's games. So first up, Pistons and Spurs. Uh, <laughs> Pistons, 95.5 implied total, which is last on the day, right? Yeah, last. So starting off in the basement. And it's always uh, crappy to, you know play a spur unless you get it right but I feel like it's way more likely that you get it wrong um, no Rudy Gay for the Spurs and then for the Pistons still no Avery Bradley and obviously Reggie Jackson is out for an extended amount of time okay So we want to look at Ish, no surprise there, but his price is starting to become prohibitive. And... Hmm... I guess Tobias Harris. I don't think I want to go too much further down. Yeah, I don't think I want to go much further down than that. Okay, so Detroit. First one up would be Ish. He's 6,000 on FanDuel, and he's 5,500 on DK. Um, against the Spurs, too. I almost wish this game was in San Antonio, because I think that Ish would still play in a blowout, and then the Spurs would be more likely to blow them out. I don't think that I like Ish on FanDuel. Like, to get to 30 is tricky. Well, he's still a little underpriced. Um, wow. I can't type this morning. Like, he's still a little underpriced, but not a lot. I'm going to say don't take him on FanDuel. And then Harris is 7,000 on FanDuel, 6,800 on DK. Um, hmm. There's just not a lot to like here. I guess I need to look at Drummond a little bit more, too. So, Drummond is 9,300 on DK, 9,700 on FanDuel, which means he needs, let's just say 50. He's, done, he's had three 50-point games in his last seven, but when he doesn't hit 50, you know, he might put up 29 or 31. It's been pretty good lately, though. I'm going to assume that his um, points per minute has been trending upward. Ooh, created there for a little bit and then jumped back up. Okay. Um, I just feel like the Spurs are too smart for Drummond. What does he normally do? I know that feels, that almost feels racist. <laughs> What's his history against the Spurs? Yeah, nothing crazy. I'm gonna pass on Drummond. Only ish on DK, I don't really want Tobias Harris. I think it's too big of a force. So we'll go to the uh, Spurs now. 
It's way too much time to spend on the worst team. I have more energy for the first one, so that's sort of what happens. I'm more likely to put in time. And I should just go. I should rank the games and go in that order. Mix it up a little bit. Okay. So Aldridge, Pow, Kawhi, Kyle Anderson. We need to look at all of it. Spurs are in a good spot. Uh, Spurs have 100 point implied total, which would be 12th. Um, like I said, no Rudy Gay. But we're going to want to see this. So LaMarcus Aldridge, 8,600 on FanDuel, 7,500 on DK. Sign me up. He needs 45 for 6x. So three straight 40-point games. Um, this is a great matchup for him, I think. So uh, I'd like to have a lot of LaMarcus Aldridge, particularly on DK, but he's good on both spots, I think. Um, Pow, 6,800 on FanDuel, 7,000 on DK. That's not my favorite. Um, so he needs 35 for 5X. He's had four straight 39-point games. Um, going absolutely ham, and now I just kind of want to see this. Look at that. Since playing 15 minutes on December 16th, he has gotten shot out of a cannon. 1.4 fantasy points per minute or higher um, in every game since then. It's really good. Um, I don't think that I'm interested in him, though, for this particular game. I think his price is a little too high. Now, Kawhi. 7,400 on FanDuel, 6,300 on DK. So he would need 37 to hit 6x on DK. Which I think that he can do. How much has he played this year? Hawaii, Hawaii. <laughs> How ridiculous. Yeah, so he's, I got him at 1.27. That's probably well below his career. I'll have a little bit of Kawhi. Just a little bit. Kyle Anderson is 4,100 on FanDuel. Uh, 5,100 on DK. Um, if you want to take Kyle Anderson, you can only take him on FanDuel. And I think that's probably it for me. There. Yeah. So uh, let's go to the Pelicans. Pels, 111.75 implied total. Second on the night. Um, and they are hosting the New York Knicks. They're five and a half point favorites. Uh, this should be a, a, a pretty monster game here from a fantasy perspective. Uh, obviously, Boogie went bananas last night. 80-something fantasy points. <clears throat> We're going to be looking at Boogie again here, I think. And then we want to look at Eton Moore, Drew, I guess. This doesn't feel like the best Anthony Davis game. Cousins should eat on Cantor, right? Let's find out. All right, Pels. Boogie, 11-2 on FanDuel, 10-7 on DK. Um, I think he keeps the momentum going. Big big Cousins guy tonight. And I think that I would fade AD, although I do love that price. 10-5 on DK.
Let me look at their usage rates quick. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch, boogie 34, AD 24. Okay, so I'm even high on him there. Yeah, I'm going to fade AD tonight. Um, you know, I could obviously pay for that. But I think I'd rather have Boogie. I don't see the appeal in AD. He doesn't shoot enough threes, which is weird to me. Yeah, I don't, I'm going to pass there. Drew is 77 on FanDuel. 71 on DK. Um, let's see, how many times has he been to 40? Just once, but 30 plus... No real, I mean, who's going to guard him? McBuckets? I like Drew. And then we want to look at Etom Moore. 4,600 on FanDuel. 4,800 on DK. That's a little prohibitive. Needs 23. He's been above 20 in three of his last six. Um... I'd be okay with having like a small amount of Etom Moore. Does he stack well with Cousins or Holiday? I really need to learn um, some sort of programming language so that I can put together uh, some lineup based correlations. It's next on the to do list, but it probably won't be till next year. All right, Pels, Etom Moore. Big one with Cousins, neutral, Drew, nothing with AD. Okay, so that's fine. I don't. I won't mind having Etom more boogie games. That's fine. Cool. Uh, next up, we're gonna go to the Knicks. Knicks 106.25 implied total. It's actually fourth on the night. Um, this is a sneaky big fantasy game. It's a shame that the Knicks are kind of stagnant from a fantasy perspective. They don't have any like value guys popping out. Okay. So pretty much everyone but Cantor is worth a look. And Cantor's not even that bad. So Zinger, uh, 9,200 on FanDuel, 8,400 on DK. I can't even read. Um, I mean, he's definitely in for DK. Nope, that's not it. Poor Zach. Every, every time I spell this wrong, I flip that G in the I. Poor Zinnigigs. I don't know what that is. Okay, uh, for, let's say 46. Oh my god, four straight 40 point games? Yo, fire up the zinger. Holy balls. Chris down for Zingus. He's been down a little bit too. Uh that one. That that's that's pulling him down. Yeah. I'm totally fine with this. I'm gonna pass on Cantor. Although I feel like I'm gonna regret that. Six thousand. Needs thirty. Two straight 50 fucking point games. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll pass on Cantor. Um, Courtney Lee, 5,600 and 5,200 needs 28. Let me add that so I can stop guessing. Um, one second. Peeps. Tired of calculating that in my head.
I have. The fuck is the problem here? This is a great video for everybody, right? What is, where's the, where's the break here? Oh, there it is. Got it. Now we're dancing. So I've been doing this calculation in my head. Not that it's a difficult calculation or anything, but it's uh, just a pain in the ass. I should have just paused the video, you know? <laughs> Would have been a little bit easier. Um, but it's way easier to just get this in here. Refresh this. Find the value one. Add it to... Right there. See, this will make my life a little bit easier. And I could have just paused the video and been like, oh, nothing happened. I did it really quickly. It's that I'm stupid. Okay. Perfect. So back to the Knicks. Courtney Lee, let's say 30 is the threshold we want to hit there. He's had two 30-point games. You know, dude has the ability to go off. Um... I'm perfectly okay with Courtney Lee. I don't want a ton of it, you know, but a couple lineups are fine. No way do I want Beasley, although kudos to the people that get him on the right night. And I'm good on Jarrett Jack or Frankie Smokes. Although Frankie, wait, hold on. Frankie Smokes, 3,900 on uh, DK. He went off, didn't he? Yeah, 37. Two straight games, pretty decent. Um, I'm willing to entertain a lineup or two of Frankie Smokes on DK. So you have any link with Porzingis or Courtney Lee? Nilakina, pretty good with Porzingis. And not the best with Courtney Lee, but could run out a little zinger Frankie Smoke stack. That won't be bad. Now we'll jump to the next game since I've been killing enough time here. Orlando Magic hosting the Miami Heat Magic 101.5 implied total, which would be 11th on the night. Not the best game here. Um, I assume all of the Magic dudes are playing, so... You know, everybody's prices are wrong. Alrighty. 100% don't want Aaron Gordon unless this FanDuel price is like $4,000 or something. But we do want to look at Peyton and Simmons and Fournier and never Google. Especially Peyton and especially Biombo. <laughs> So first up, yeah, definitely don't want Aaron Gordon. Um, look, he could be fine, but, you know, I just want him to get his sea legs back, you know. Alfred Payton, 7,600 on FanDuel, uh, 7,100 on DK. Let's see, can he hit 40 against the Heat? I mean, basically three straight games there. Um I think it helps to have talent back around him. So I'm okay with it. Jonathan Simmons, 5,800 and 5,900. Uh, that's, that's too much for me, for him. 
Never Google. 5,900 and 5,400 would be, let's say, 30. Did it in the last one. Not so much in his, in his return. I think he's priced pretty much where he needs to be. Miami Heat at guard is going to be like Ellington. Not exactly a lockdown dude. I'm probably fourth. They're 11th. Unless it jumps off the page. Biombo. 6,000 on FanDuel. 5,300 on DK. Can he get to 30 against the Heat? He's done 30 in his last two. I'm fine with it. It's not. He's not the value that he was. Um... He just has the ability to not me on bow. God. Todd like Nintendo would rename him for a for a game on the Switch. Ms. Mac Me Ombo. Anyway. He just blocks so many shots. That like if he gets four blocks, you know, that's fucking twelve points right out of the gate. It's just so good on D. Um, okay, to the Heat now. Um, heat are one and a half point favorites in Orlando. Ninth highest implied total. Um, the morgue of the Heat. Still no uh, waiters. Still no James Johnson. Still no Justice Winslow. I really need to add those two names. Derek Walton and Matt Williams. Matt Williams goes there. Meaning to do it. There we go. Looking good. Okay. Nothing looks terribly appealing. Definitely don't want Wayne. Definitely don't want most of these guys. Um... Dragic is the only guy that I think I want to take a look at. I assume Whiteside <clears throat> is not priced where I want him to be. Yeah, 7,500 and 6,700. He would need 40. Just not going to be the night for me for Whiteside. Um, I don't really want Josh Richardson at 6,500. That's pricey needs mid 30s he can do it but it's not the matchup Drogic 6600 on FanDuel 5900 on DK can he get to mid 30s hasn't lately I got a feeling about it I've got a feeling about that. I'm gonna explore having him in a lineup or two. I don't know. Something weird, I feel. You shouldn't ever go by feel. <laughs> Tyler Johnson, 6,500. Um, can he get to 30? Not comfortably. Hawks and Blazers. Hawks hosting the Trailblazers. Uh, they are one and a half point underdogs. Eighth highest implied total on the night. Uh, Mike Muscala rumored to be back tonight. Might get a couple minutes. He's probably been too busy smoking the ganj. I think that was Muscala, right? Was it Muscala? Or am I thinking of a dude from the Thunder? Oh, I'm thinking of McGarry, I think. But same same name, you know, the M and M alliter alliteration. Uh, okay, Hawks. So really interested in Schroeder. In fact, I might even just lock him in now. And we'll look at Prince and Collins. 
this is going to be almost a no-brainer, I think. 7,700 on FanDuel, 6,700 on DK. Can he get to 40? Which, obviously, we know that he can. Two straight games, 35-plus. 40-pointer there, 40-pointer there. Gets the Blazers, so it's not like if Dame plays, which he's expected to. It's not like Dame is some lockdown guy. Love Schroeder here. How has he played against the Blazers in the past? I always love when I can check these out. It's like the Blazers team has changed. He's been meh. But I'm okay with it. Love Schroeder tonight. Baysmore. Not interested. Prince. Um, can you get to 30? Sure could. Um, I'm okay with that. Wouldn't force it, but I'm okay with it. Ilya Sova, no. Collins, 5,800 and 5,000. Can he get the 30? Did in the last one, 21 minutes. Why is he playing such reduced minutes now? I guess if Muscala comes back, that's even scarier. He's been really good on a per minute basis. Play the dude. Holy balls. Just play him. He's been playing well. I'd like to say I like John Collins, but I don't trust the minutes. I've got him at 22, and he's still close to hitting value. Can't do it, though. If they had a higher implied total. Okay, to the Blazers. Um, 104.75 implied total would be sixth on the night. I'm hoping, once again, that this is just a CJ game. It went pretty well for me the last time. I just don't want to have to take Dame coming back. He's the one guy I would because he's crazy. Yeah, it's more Dame than CJ. But not by much. And then we want to look at Aminu. So Dame, 8,700 on FanDuel, 8,200 on DK. Can he get to 45 plus? Which obviously we know he can. Um, yeah, if Dame plays, I'm fine with Dame. Yeah. What's the note for him? Questionable. I'm fine there. Aminu now. 5,100 and 4,500. Can you get to 25 plus? I'll take my chances. That's a great Aminu spot. Other than that, I'm good. Let's go to the next one. Three games left. Jazz and Cavs, uh, Jazz hosting the Cavs, 101.75 implied total, which would be 10th on the night. I assume this is going to look dreadful, and I'm hoping that I don't like anything on the Cavs. I've taken a lot of dudes against the Jazz recently, and it has not gone well, which is scary because Gobert is not even there. Okay, so got to look at Joe Ingles. I mean, you kind of got to look at Donovan Mitchell, too. Other than that, I don't want anything here. Donovan Mitchell. 7,500 and 6,900. Can he get to 40? Two games, 35 or higher since he's been back. I think it's a good matchup for him. I mean, it's just a steady diet of like Corver or Wade or 
Calderon, I guess. I don't. That's he should be fine. The level of athleticism between Jose Calderon and Donovan Mitchell. It's, it's just like a. It's. It might be the distance between Cleveland and Utah. I don't know why I'm saying Utah like Utah's the city, but you know what I mean. I don't want Rodney Hood. I don't want Favors. I don't want Rubio. Ingles, 5,300 and 4,700. You know. Can he get to 30 to 25 plus? Probably not. I like Ingles tonight. Sneaky GPP play, but they're just too bad. <laughs> um, now we'll go to the Cavs. 105.25 implied total. Fifth on the night. If anybody's looking for a movie recommendation, I um, saw Downsizing yesterday. Pretty entertaining. You won't regret going. Okay, so got to look at Braun, obviously. Doesn't feel like a Kevin Love game. Although, who's going to guard him? And as per usual, Wade stands out as good, and I won't take him on the right night. Okay. Cleveland. LeBron, 11-5 and 11-5. That's so many minutes. Fuck me. I don't know why I said minutes. Points. Ugh, in or in Utah. I mean, you have to, like everything looks okay for Braun. For some reason, I just don't like it. Love eight thousand eighty five hundred. Can you get to like forty five? Sure. I'm actually okay with Kevin Love. What's the Love and LeBron relationship? It has to be negative, right? Or at least no relation. Yeah, a little bit negative. Maybe I'll stagger those two. I'm good for the rest of that. Two games left now. Warriors at home versus the Memphis Grizzlies. 12 and a half point favorites, 109.5 implied total, third on the night, and Steph's back. Supposed to be on a minutes limit, so don't take him in any way. I mean, obviously, Steph can hit value from just about any minutes limit, but uh, I don't think that we're going to want a ton. Like, you don't really want any of these guys in cash, I don't think. Too big of a risk. Okay, no Durant. Claire Dre. So Durant, 11,000 on FanDuel, 10-3 on DK. Oh, actually, you know, can he 55 plus? He's been down. I'm good. That's, I don't want the Grizzlies. Curry, 9,700 on FanDuel, um, 8,100 on DK. They're actually giving you a shot on DK, but you can't do it. Draymond, 82 and 74. I will look at Draymond Green. I don't think Curry coming back has any negative effect on him there, except for just trying to score a little less. Clay is 66. 35 plus. I'll pass. Just a weird game. I'll take Draymond. That's probably it. Now, to the Grizzlies, where I'm going to assume we don't want any part of this. At least I hope we don't. 
Liverpool in 30 minutes, folks. Get excited. Gotta look at Mark Gasol, I guess. And Tyreek and Harrison. Okay. Mark Gasol, 8,500 FanDuel, 8,000 DK. Can you get to 45? He's been playing better as of late, but not great. How has he been in the past against the Warriors? Not bad, actually. I will entertain some Marcus Saul. Tyreek, 8,600 and 7,700. 40 plus. He's been over 40 in his last four, five of his last six. Um, this feels like the game where he goes like four of 19 from the field, though, right? I'm going to stay away. Maybe if they were at home. Harrison, 4,300 and 4,600. Can you get to mid-20s? I don't like it. I'm forcing Memphis. We're good. Just Gasol. Last game. Denver Nuggets hosting the Philadelphia 76ers, who are playing without Joel Embiid. Nuggets, 112 implied total. Numero uno on the night. Nuggets played huge minutes in their last one. Short rotation. That's going to be a bad paste. No, no, I'm wrong. Okay. Jokic, um, I assumed I was going to like him tonight, and I do. I like almost everybody on this squad from a matchup perspective, except for probably Will Barton and Lyles. So, Denver, Jokic, 95 and 86. Um, I'm just going to pencil him in there now. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Murray, 65 and 62. Can you get to 35 fantasy points? Thirty plus in his last three and four of his last five. Um... High implied total. I'm okay with it. Gary Harris, 63 and 61. Can he get to mid 30s? Hasn't in his last four. Not a sparkling matchup for him, but he's pretty balanced. I'll pass on Gary Harris, but it wouldn't shock me. Barton. Same scenario. He's been thirty mid thirties, two of his last three. But I don't like the matchup. I think that's going to be it for me there. And then finally, we take a look at the Sixers. One hundred four point five implied total, which is seventh. And uh, as I said, we will not be having Joel Embiid. So that's going to make Rashawn Holmes look okay. He's going to make Amir Johnson look okay. It's going to make uh, Ben Simmons look less appealing to me, unless his price has changed. Okay. So we're in to look at everybody just because of the value that it opens up. But I don't want to get too married to all of these guys. So Simmons is 87 and 83. He needs mid-40s. I don't think there's any chance I'm doing that without Embiid. Just hasn't been there, so I'm going to pass there. Sarich, 65 and 62. Can he get to the mid-30s? He you know, has the ability to have a 50-pointer. I um, think he plays better without Embiid. So, uh, yeah, I'm okay with Dario Sarich. Covington, 61 and 57. He's got something wonky going on, right? Okay, so it's a non-shooting hand, not a huge deal there. 
So if he can play, can he hit 30 plus? Yeah, again, I'm, I'm okay with that, I believe. I'm nervous about Redick right now. He's playing weirder minutes. But Holmes, 4,000 and 4,200. He needs to get to 20 plus. The three games without Embiid previously did it relatively easily. I'm going to entertain at least a little bit of him. Amir is 35 and 37. Um, I don't love that as much. I think that'll be it for me here. So that's it. Let's see what the short list looks like. Pretty short. Two shooting guards, which is always entertaining. Let's plug it into a uh, cruncher and see where we end up. It's a very narrow window for me tonight, which I kind of like. can't recognize that Derek Walton is the same person as Derek Walton Jr. Fuck off. I name my guys like basketball reference. You could use the same name set. All right. 10 DK lineups. It's probably going to show dudes I don't want to have, but who cares? We'll figure it out. Okay, Dame, Mitchell, Lyles, Holmes, Jokic, Schroeder, Sarge, McConnell. That's almost there. Like, if I just, if I scrap McConnell and Trey Lyles, how close do I get to something like that the second time around? I lost Dame now. Schroeder, Frankie Smokes, Prince... Zinger, Jokic, Mitchell, Holmes, Sarich. I'm gonna, like, that's just my placeholder now. I love it. I have every one of those guys, I think. Let's check FanDuel. <sighs> Gotta hustle. Gotta get all this stuff up. Loaded. Thumbnail made. 22 minutes. Go watch Liverpool roll. Start my weekend off right. Gonna be a problem that I missed the line. Nope. Guess not. This one's gonna be a little weird, I think. Value is tricky. Here we go. Do it twice, apparently. Dame, Harrison, Mitchell, Harris, LBJ, Prince. LeBron in 9 of 10 is interesting on Fandle. He looks like he, get, he needs to be played. Sarge, Lyles, Holmes. If I scrap those two uh, nuggets, where do we end up? Tyler Johnson, Harrison, Mitchell, Hood, now Hood, Rubio, McConnell. No, I'd entertain that, I guess. All these Rodney Hood lineups. That one looks pretty okay. It's just too much jazz. Too much jazz on FanDuel. I'll have to take a look at it. All right, that's it for me. Um, you know, you guys know the drill. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Check out Patreon. Um, that's it. Live before lock, 6 p.m. tonight, 100%. We're going to do that. Then at 7 o'clock, we're going to transition. Well, I'm going to transition right into watching the UFC. Uh, going to be a good night. Go Liverpool in uh, 20 minutes, and I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Bye.